In today's video, we are testing out the Vita Liberata Body Blur. We are going to find out if this is waterproof, sweatproof, if you can sit on a surface without getting it all over the place. So if you guys have been wanting to test out this product or a product like this, then just keep watching. Good morning, guys. Today I'm doing a fun video where I'm testing out the Body Blur by Vita Liberata. Liberata? I can't speak, it's 5.30 in the morning. But today I'm going to be testing this out for you by working out and then I'm gonna maybe go into my pool. It's 5.30 in the morning and it's like only 50 degrees out but we're gonna see how well this lasts because a lot of people like to use these sorts of products in the summer in order to like cover up any patchiness on their legs or just make their legs, arms, chest or anything a little bit more vibrant. So I wanna see how well this holds up. So when I'm working out, I'm gonna see if like the sweat, I wish I had like a white outfit but apparently I only buy black clothes when I'm working out. So I picked up the Vita Liberata body uh, up the Vita why can't I speak up the Vita Liberata body blur because apparently this is what they use to use on the Victoria's Secret models and make their skin look flawless. I'm gonna put you guys on my tripod and apply this with a kabuki brush and then we're gonna start our workout. Okay guys, I'm going to be applying this to my legs. It's perfect for after you shave and you have a spray tan, it'll make your legs a little bit more vibrant. And also if you have any streaks, this will cover them up. Or at least we're hoping it will. This, ooh, I bought a dark color. I got the color latte. Oh my god, you guys, I got it on the floor. No. Don't touch that, though. Okay, I'm starting to think this might be better applied with my hands. This seems like it's gonna take forever. Are we seeing any sort of difference between the two legs? Oh my gosh, can you imagine if it's the exact same color? Oh, you guys can kind of see it on the back of my leg here. Oh my God. I applied way too much, guys. Way too much. No. Okay, definitely can see a color difference between my legs. There's my cat. Okay guys, I'm hoping you can see the difference. It is very, very slight. I must have picked a color that pretty much matched my spray tan. But what we're gonna test out, we can still test out because we're gonna see if this rubs off on anything. That's the most important thing because it does make your leg look a lot more flawless. If you've ever used the Sally Hansen air spray, that's pretty much what this is. So we're gonna see if it's waterproof by working out and just seeing if it gets all over. I have a yoga mat out here, see if it gets on that, if it gets on my clothing. Although it's black, it's still gonna show up if it gets on my clothes. So let's start our workout. Now I ended up only putting it on my one leg, this leg right here. I'm sorry, the lighting is just not with us right now. To see the color difference, which I can see, it doesn't really show up on camera too much, but I can see that this leg looks just a little bit more flawless, kind of almost like if you wore like pantyhose versus if you did not. So if you have any streaking, this will definitely cover it up. And the color is very natural. I got the color latte. If you are darker than I am, definitely go for a darker color because this is almost the exact same color as my spray tan. It just adds a nice like gleam to the leg. And I'm going to work out and see if this leg and the makeup get all over my yoga mat right here. Also, just a disclaimer, I'm not amazing at working out. So, um, I mean, you can critique my form and all of that, but just know... I know that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay guys, so far it's like, it's dry. It's very dry, it's not getting on my mat at all. Oh, I'm out of breath a little bit. But so far my legs are looking good. I can definitely see more of a difference in color than I even tried getting it on another camera. It's just not really showing up because the tans are so close in color. But it's not getting on my workout mat like I assumed it would, which is nice. This is sad that I'm out of breath. Like I need to work out a lot more than I am, but that's why we're getting back into routine right now. That's a good thing about summer. I feel like it kind of like forces us to get into a better workout routine. Okay guys, so I just did a little bit of like crunches, squats, stretching, and I'm gonna be honest, it's not even making me sweat. 
which I'm out of breath, but I'm not sweating. And um, I kind of want to sweat. I want to see if this starts rubbing off if you're in like really hot weather. It's only 50 degrees out, so the odds of me sweating right now are very slim. So I'm going to go inside and just run on the treadmill. Ooh, my cat is chasing <laughs> wasp. It's a wasp. I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna run on the treadmill, then I'll come back out here and I might go in the pool. The pool's probably like 40 degrees, it's only 50 degrees out, so it's going to be freezing. Okay guys, so I just ran on my treadmill right there and I can honestly say it hasn't moved at all. And my thighs touch, so my thighs are rubbing together and my tan hasn't moved at all. It really looks so pretty. Why have I not used this before? Like it gives you this like flawless look. Like why, I never want to splurge before on this product but I'm kind of wishing I splurged earlier because it really looks so pretty and adds a nice gleam to your legs. This would be perfect for a patchy spray tan, y'all. Like, if your spray tan's gone patchy, you don't have time to reapply a new one, like, put this on, or if it's just faded, like, especially on your chest and your neck. If your foundation ends up being too dark, you can put it on your neck and your chest and just blend your foundation into that, and it'll be perfect. If you spray tan and you wanna take photos, grab this stuff right here. Oop, my alarm's going off because it's 6.15 a.m. And I'm warm, so I think before I get cold, we're gonna run out and jump in the pool and just see what happens. If it gets all over my towel, we'll know not to go swimming in this. I do not think it's advised to go swimming in this, but just in case, or if you get like doused in sweat or someone drops a whole water bucket on your head, we're gonna see if it's gonna stay on. Okay guys, I'm in the bathing suit. This one is from Shein and as you can see, it doesn't really fit, but doesn't matter. This is going to be in a video coming up. I'm doing a Shein bathing suit try on haul. And this is kind of the problem of having to buy a top and bottom the exact same size. So let's get down to the pool and test this out. Okay guys, in the process of getting out here, uh, I was like taking off my shorts and stuff and I wasn't really careful. You know when you like pull your shirt over your head and your makeup gets all over it and you're like, oh no. So I did that and as I was taking off, I was like, oh no, maybe this just got all over my pants. Not that it really matters and that is actually what we're testing for and you guys, it didn't budge at all. It wasn't on anything and then I literally took the pants and started rubbing it on my leg and still nothing. You guys could see my cat right there. She's like, get me off camera. Okay. Um, but yeah, it hasn't gotten on anything. That is not a snake. That is my pool clear. So, in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> okay, let's see if it comes up onto my towel at all. Ooh, <laughs> y'all, it does. Oh no, I'm gonna go wash this towel right now. <laughs> oh no. As you guys can see though, the color is gorgeous. But right here, when I dried my leg, you guys can see that all the color is just coming off. So no, this is a no-no for swimming. Moral of the story, do not go swimming in this body bronzer. I hope you guys liked today's review of the Vita Liberata Body Blur. I really like this product. I think it's perfect for summer if you're gonna go outside and you want your legs to look nice, especially if you spray tan and they get a bit patchy. However, if you start sweating profusely or you get dumped in the water, then it's gonna come off, you guys, and it's going to get all over your clothes and towel. Like, if you are going to an event and it's 100 degrees, do not wear this product right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow my Instagram. It's at KCElizabeth underscore YT. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.